Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> so this video has been blowing up, and you guys keep sending it to us. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Maybe Siljan, like the like, like kind of like, like the symbols, like, the like Siljan brand. Um, and the song is called Ligao Tingin. Now, the good news is we have mm. the English translation in another tab. So let's have a watch at there and give a review to the performance and then we'll have a look at the lyrics. Uh, I don't know much about him. We've gone in this super blind. Super blind. Let's begin. Okay. Here we go. I'm actually really excited. Yeah, it's always good I when you new names. You know? Yeah, I love when this video goes super viral. Oh, Especially it's when it's like this. Come, Come on. on. Oh, he looks fairly young. And then he's like, Why? Wow. The girls in the background were really losing their mind. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look, look. <laughs> You're on the wish bus. <laughs> This motherfucker, I never understood that about guitarists, man. They, their fingers can operate in like in a completely different manner. Yeah. But But their brain is obviously doing all that stuff. But they still just... They're just chilling. While they're producing <laughs> some, you know, impossible figure with their hands. <laughs> but it's so soothing, this guy's voice. Okay, let's talk about his vocal texture and like exactly where we're going with this. We're we're reaching some cool levels between a, a full fold and a falsetto. So we're talking about mix of uh, singing settings, but in in a really pulled back, um, kind of like a, a, a acoustic kind of feel to it. Obviously, it's acoustic, but I mean like in the whole sense of indie genre. Okay. Um, and you also have this really cool melodic consistency of the singing line, yep. which it it's. I feel like it's very cool, but it's very specific to the OPM new scene of, of music. Right. Um, so like Arthur Neri, Addy, Zach Tabudlo, all of that, like that breathy, but yet really concise in melody. And this is exactly in the same realm of music. And I, is, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty impressed. Yeah, of course, you know, in the female branch of like Moira, you know, sort of like a, also, Cla what's her name, Benin? Uh, uh, Cla uh, is it Clara? Cla Claire, Clara, Benin. Oh, yeah, her name. But um, yeah. Benin? So, so you get this sort of, you know, th this is one of the most popular genres that we have uh, at mm -hmm. home as well that we seem to listen to a lot. Uh, but because the evolution of it is really nice as well. Like in the live setting, you can go with like a horn and the guitar. Mm -hmm. You can then maybe amp this up completely and have a full band. Correct. But let's let's proceed to see where it goes. <laughs> Quite a lot of people. Because it's so beautiful. bloody good. Nice. It's a really cool texture. Also a choice. You, you you see in those two singing phrases how in the elongated part of the singing, the first time round he decided to go with like a breathier take. Seems purposeful. Yes, like a breathier, more texturized take. And in the second time round, he prioritized melody. But and I think that's what I was trying to to like emphasize in the point I was making earlier. Like you can really hear it here. You hear that breathiness. And then super clean melodic. 
You see that? That's so cool. His face is, it was all like inner mouth work. The translations for that, oh, and my Tagalog's yeah, not good enough for that. Apparently, though, it's quite good. Apparently, the, it's not too bad. Yeah, you know, yeah. But I, I think if they use a lot of words that are similar in Spanish, I can fucking you know dictionario. I can <laughs> dictionario. I'm always there. Absolutely kill it. <laughs> I'm almost. Now I do have to announce this. Like um, yes. I'm really intrigued uh, regarding this sort of genre in the Philip in the Filipino music industry. We are going to the One MX officially. So that's the I think it's this year's biggest Filipino music. Festival, festival in London, which is fantastic that we're going to be involved. Uh, uh, we will keep announcing what we're actually going to be doing. Gonna and shit be like there. That. Bamboo's going to be there. Darren. Darren Spanto's going to be there. Easy. Freaking Easy Neil's so going to be there. So I'm sure, <laughs> which I'm sure with like, you know, one of my favorite singers, which is KC, she'll probably have some moments to do some acoustic stuff. I think Sab, who's a really, you know, talented guitarist, is going to be involved. So to a certain I'm extent, I'm excited to see her too. We are going to be able to experience this style of new era, new age Filipino original music um, live. And that's going to be a really interesting sort of review. And seeing this new age come up and this new generation, you know, that in, in the past, this wasn't really the most popular thing even though you did you did have lots of um um i guess alternative indie bands in 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 the philippines still ballads remain king mm -hmm. uh, and queen i guess but in this particular case i think this is a really good middle ground for for all age uh, filipino listeners to music and it, it, worldwide, even worldwide but most yeah. importantly i think it's worldwide because that's essentially what you want to see with such a talented music industry yeah not just you know sort of you know become huge hits in the country but start breaking through the internet and through a yeah, the global charts and things like well, that. Well, the other day I was getting my nails done in the nail salon and they were playing Sack Tabudlo. Nice, yeah, well, he's And I was like, okay, this is the moment. <laughs> he's, he's incredibly famous and a really it's nice guy. Cool. Uh, we it's we text cool. around then, he's, a, he's an, an amazing guy. Same as Arthur. Arthur's very... The thing is, these guys are so fucking so busy. So busy. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I know Dang. guys, you always, always ask, oh, <laughs> when are they going to come to the podcast? It's like, you know, they're just busy. Maybe one day. But um, let's have a look at the lyrics. Okay, here's what you've got. I love this Sildjian kid, though. I think he's a kid. He could be also a 40-year-old man. In the Philippines, you never know. Um, <laughs> no, but I love that it, it last interaction. That was a gem. Was like, okay? Are they That's... cousins or siblings? or something? They like that. definitely know each other really well. <laughs> so he goes, butterflies in my stomach, playing, unstoppable, stuttering even when you don't talk, going away even if not in front. Ooh, why is it only up to here? 
end of my step, end of my step, approach you so vague unto stealth. I just think, I do apologize if this translation is a fucking garbage, it's the best I could find. Watching your every cycle, <laughs> do I just look wild? The cycle of my world is slowing down. Imaginations of my mind, you stare looking forward. It's weird even if you don't know it. I'm hiding even if you don't. Ooh. Why is Why? it only up to here? Why is it only up to here? Okay, continue. Sorry. Heart claim. Also, you Sorry. Not, no, not no, take no. my job? No, 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 go ahead. It's not. Yep. I'm only joking. You can read if you wish. I just, it's just the reason why I read, guys. I'm blind. Baleska, she's not blind. She just doesn't wear glasses because she's kind of silly about the glasses because she thinks it makes her look funny and it ruins her makeup. They do ruin my makeup, but like... I don't think I look so funny. So give her, give her confidence. Tell I, her. I hope you look I don't beautiful. Look funny. <laughs> go down, go down. Thank you. Mahal kita yo glasses. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, it's what empty. does Mahal Kokayo mean? Mahal Kokayo. Parokia ni Edgar. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I have to send you this TikTok of this guy. He learns Tagalog because his girlfriend is, is Filipina. Mm. And she was, he, she was explaining the, the experience in this, in this hotel they were in in Tagalog. And he was chipping in <laughs> into the experience, just, just saying random, random phrases. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, wow, <laughs> this reminds me of my yeah, brother. So <laughs> next time I'm going to, you know, I haven't, we did meet some of you guys when we went, when we went to Lea Salonga's live concert. Um, and you were so nice, but I didn't, I didn't have, I still don't have the confidence enough in Tagalog to just throw random words out there. Oh, okay. Yeah, gusto con abu mitao, you know. Just... <laughs> Ephra, Ephra, just imagine, just imagine somebody came up to you and be like, pajarillo, pajarillo. No, it, it, it would be you like, know? it would be like, eh, 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 what, what would be like a, like a really popular, Mientes. no, like a Mientes really popular, in English, in like, eh, that's the way you're beautiful. Exactly. Or like, um, but without singing, just 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 say that. No, I have to sing it. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, my bad. But anyways, um, <laughs> then he goes to the bridge. Even if you don't pay attention to me, I will continue to love you secretly, even if I am. Ah. So, so perhaps Ligao, what's the fucking name? Ligao Tining. That's the name of the song. Ligao Tining. Tingin. Ting ting tingin. Tingin, right? Um, maybe that means like, oh, even even actually... if you don't. No. If you don't know. Well, let's actually find out. Singer, songwriter, content creator, Siljan. Ah. I was going to say, does he do ah. content? Because I get the feeling... He does. He does. Personality. <laughs> because the song speaks of an orator who can't muster the strength to court his love interest properly, prompting him only to admire the person from afar. Okay, so they make... And he, he is accompanied by social media sensation Kong. Well, you know what? He seemed familiar and I didn't want to know. I didn't want to say. Familiar more sense. Like, like I, I think like I've come across this stuff in, on on my on my channel. He's so Ten large. Ten million. Ten so, million. So what does he do? Like com com comedy stuff. I think they're pretty funny and like he does like vlogs and stuff. Nice. He's like, he came up on my on my recommended the other day and I was like, oh, he's been wow, doing it for a while. Cool. Nine years. Look, seven years, eight years. Yeah, and I. I try to watch and understand, but it didn't have subtitles, so I was a little bit lost. <laughs> but it's good vibes, good feels. <laughs> so he's definitely memeing out there in the wish bus. <laughs> he um, must have. This is what surprises me so much about the Filipino music industry. It's mm. like, because it's such a singing culture of things, um, even if it's for fun, they, they still do it. Or even if it's a collaboration, they still manage to reach such high levels of music. Um, perhaps... Uh, Kong is not an actual professional musician. Maybe he's just an entertainer. Um, but to be able to encapsulate that magic and the wish bus environment, it's very difficult. It's not an easy environment to perform in. It means wild look. <laughs> wild look. Mm, okay. I, again, I just think it's a really cool co uh, combination of elements. Yeah. And the this acoustic version, it's perfect for a CD already. It's like a streamable... Ready. Yeah, dude, give, <laughs> like me, ready. give me Siljan, Ethan, Lucas, give me oh uh, my God, Ethan. Moira La Torre, yes. Arthur, Addy obviously is kidding at Addy. the moment. Yeah, I think Addy and Siljan would make a really Great collaboration. Perfect Lots collab. of collabs out there. Well, let us know yeah. what you guys thought about it and uh, goodbye. All right.